I would guess that you're looking at the current world and saying, well, if we just snapped our fingers and replaced governments with the free market, what would happen, right? Right. And the, the world of it's, the future is not the world populated by people like we have now. It's a generational it change. It's a, generation. it's a multi-generational change that starts with peaceful parenting. Can, can, There's no big revolution. There's a, so what happens is we keep making the case for peaceful parenting. Can, we keep making the case for peaceful parenting. Then what happens is peaceful parenting inoculates the world against sociopathy, evil, lack of empathy, manipulation, control, in the kind of insecurity that turns people into parasites. A confident man and a confident woman, they're not parasites. And I love- a confident man and a confident woman bring value. They don't manipulate and leech off others. And so peaceful parenting and love and affection and caring and, and skin contact and breastfeeding and negotiation and all that builds a different kind of human being. Now, I know that sounds kind of like, well, with the new human being, Marxism will work. But this is pretty validated and scientifically. I- so I'm not sort of making things up. Let me finish. So in the future, we won't be dealing – with this twitchy, scurvy, manipulative, frightened, angry, controlling, insecure, power-hungry, insane population. So it's like – it'd be like if I go to the Middle Ages and I say I want to sell health insurance when like a third of the people are dying from the plague, people would say I can't possibly afford health insurance, right? They'd say, listen, first of all, we've got to deal with the plague. Then we'll look into your free market solutions. Because if a third of the people are currently dying of the plague, you know, not a lot of people go into Ebola-affected areas selling a whole bunch of health insurance, right? Right. So right now, we have an epidemic of traumatized and brutalized violence in the world. And that violence takes direct forms of crime, uh, direct forms of military aggression, indirect forms – of, uh, of welfare and uh, money printing and uh, uh, regulation and, and uh, you know, corporatism and, and capitalism. So there's an epidemic of violence in the world. And you think, well, if we introduce a free market into this, well, the free market is just going to end up having to serve a whole bunch of people who want to do wrong. And I kind of agree with that, right? right? And so we have to make human beings better, I think, before a free market can serve virtue. Right now, uh, I, you know, there would be a, it would be a lot better if there was a free market immediately. Things would certainly improve. Right. But in the future, there will be less than half a percent or a tenth of a percent of evil people that there are now. In the, in the same way that now, we don't worry about smallpox and we don't worry about polio, right? Yeah. Because we got vaccinations. It's been wiped out. I mean, where are smallpox and polio? were unbelievable disasters for the human race throughout history. I think smallpox up until the 20th century killed more people than wars did. Yeah. They say, well, we can't have this society of them dropping dead of smallpox and polio put people hundreds in iron of, lungs for yeah. Hundreds yeah. of thousands of people in, in the Americas. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, just because of lack, lack of immunity and so on and also some bio-warfare. And so right, if you're sort of in the middle of the polio epidemic or you're in the middle of the smallpox epidemic and you're saying don't worry man in the future there's going to be this little magic potion that we squirt into people through a tiny metal straw that contains bits of the illness but it's going to make them immune to it and nobody's going to worry about these illnesses well people would say well that's great and and then you can have health insurance (laughs) right i mean i don't know because of course there was health insurance in the past and so on right but right now you have a world a seething with manipulation and immorality for a variety of reasons, but all tracing back to bad parenting, in my humble opinion, almost all. I, I, in the future, we won't have those people. There will be the occasional people who are going to act in a very dysfunctional manner. People are going to get brain tumors. They're going to get other forms of brain degenerative diseases that are going to change their personality, um, and, and there's going to be problems. But the amount of problems – that are going to be in a future society. I mean, there won't be single parenthood, really, because there won't be a welfare state. People are going to be making three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year working 20 hours a week, which means that they can stay home with their kids, both people, if they want to, for the first five or six years. Schools are going to be infinitely better if they're even recognizable. Yeah, definitely. Right. So how many criminals are there going to be when everyone is raised peacefully? Everyone is raised with negotiation. Society is fantastically wealthy. People are not traumatized. They're not 
told about demons that are going to rip out their eyeballs if they don't obey the sky ghost. They're not going to be told how government is necessary and, and you know. And so in the future, how much protection are you really going to need? I, I The DROs are going to be like a late transitional thing. By the time peaceful parenting is universal, I don't imagine there's going to be any need for DROs. I, 